Hey, good morning. It's uh, Todd Miller, Sunday, October 18th. I'm here at 3926 East Curry. This is the house that I was at a few weeks ago. It needed a lot of work. It's had a lot of repairs done to it. It looks really good. I'm going to take you through it. Uh, great investment opportunity. Potentially can be converted over to commercial. Um, when I pulled up in front of the house this morning, of course, this is the house. Um, you'll see there's people out in front. They were all waiting to do the landscaping. I guess they're cleaning up the, uh, the landscaping. There were also a couple walking around the house looking, uh, thinking they might want to buy it. So I'm um, going to walk out on the street here and give you an idea of what the neighborhood looks like. Uh, it's a pretty big street, as you can see. It's not your normal residential house in a residential neighborhood. Um, actually, there were horses going down the street last time, believe it or not. It's next to these uh, fourplexes. There's a fourplex there, there's a fourplex there. Uh, that one had graffiti on it. It looks like it's been freshly painted. And you can see up here on this one, that's got graffiti on it. So it sits between a couple fourplexes, which makes it kind of interesting. Um, it's got this front area with all this parking. So it looks like it could be used for, for commercial. It's also got a drive back there, and it's, it's on a half an acre. So it's got all this room. So I'm going to take you into the house. We're going to see what repairs have been done. And as you can see, the last time we were in the house, the flooring was destroyed. Uh, it was being ripped up. And now it's got all nice. It's nice. It's got carpet. Uh, it's been painted. You can see the uh, Ario beige paint. Um, that looks really good. They've tiled in the kitchen on the counters. One only on the floor. It looks like it's in really good, really good shape. It does have four bedrooms. So we'll go down here. Check out four bedrooms with paint and carpet. Some built-ins. Built-in bookcases there. Another bedroom. A little bathroom here. Bedroom. And the master bath, they did a nice job. They tiled it. Sounds pretty good. And the master bedroom. A lot of closet space. There's two closets. Okay, so what it looks like is it looks like this is the house. This is what's in the tax record. It says it's like 1,800 square feet. It looks like that could be right. Um, it's probably about an 1,800 square foot four, four bedroom house. Now here's the trick. You've got this wall right here, okay? Now, according to tax record, this thing is on half an acre. Now keep in mind that of that half acre, some of it's the street because of the there's a setback, okay? So there is some of the land that's that's a um, that's an easement and it's on the front. But my guess is that some of the, that this is all owned to, it's all part of the same parcel number. Now, if it is, then that structure there is not a legal structure, meaning it doesn't show up on the tax records because the tax record says that the living square foot of the house is uh, 1,800 square feet, but it's got its own electric meter. So, which means someone came out here and built another, uh, there was another structure built at some point. It looks like it's been here for a while. Um, and so now this was not rehabbed on the inside. This just looks like it, like the other one did. Carpet sturdy. Um, but it's a, it's got its own kitchen and it's got a, a bathroom. So it's another structure. It's another house. It looks like a laundry room here. So it is almost like a casita. Uh, I guess this would be considered the bedroom. All right, we're going to walk around to the back. It's got these little 
garages and a little carport here. So clearly this is an opportunity. It's an opportunity to live in the one house and rent this out. Matter of fact, the people that were up front, um, what they wanted to do was live in that part and then have uh, a mom or a relative stay back here in this part. So as you can see, it's a unique property. It does have this other structure here. And we'll have to do a little more research to figure out. I'm guessing that wasn't included in the square feet. It doesn't look like it's it's more than um, maybe eight, 900 square feet. So the main house back there has clearly been done. It can get a loan on it. I'm guessing that you wouldn't have to have the whole property for it to, to qualify. And we'll, um, anyway, stay tuned as we get more information. We'll put it out there for you. Also, keep in mind, you can follow me on Twitter. I'll have some information that I'll tweet out there. My handle is Las Vegas Todd. Uh, thanks a lot. I'll see you at the next house.